Hi Dresser Cuties, Wen here. Today we're going to draw the mermaid cat from Afmo Me Mouse. So let's get started. To draw this cute cat, let's first start by drawing the eyes. So I'm going to come right here and start with a big circle. And then I'm going to come right across, say about this way, and draw another one. Now my two circles in, let's make them draw so cute eyes of two small circles inside for highlights. And a curved line at the bottom. And shade in the top. And lines at the bottom. And same thing over here. Okay, finally done. Sorry that took so long. They're pretty big. I'm <laughs> trying pretty big here today. Okay, so then from there, let's come to the sides right here. And I'm just going to continue this curve down and right here, flick a curve out and bring it down and thicken it up. So same thing here. Just continue this curve down and thicken it up. And then from there, let's draw the mouth. So about, uh, let's say about right here in the center, I'll give myself a point and I'm just going to curve out on both sides. Then I'm going to connect it with a curve, deep curve and bring it right back up. And then right by here, draw a curve for a tongue. <laughs> there. And then let's come up above each eye. I'm just going to draw a soft curve. From there, we need to draw this dumpling shape head. So I'm going to come to the top of my eye. Let's say about right, let's say about right here, close to the lashes, not too far. And same thing here. So let's say about right here. I'll give myself a point and from there, I'm going to start to draw a curve around my eye to create my dumpling shape. There, and then let's bring this down. And so it's going to come pretty much, uh, let's say, nice and low below the mouth. So let's say about right here. I give myself a point. And from there, I'm just going to use that as my guide. Draw a curve coming all the way down. So it's going to flatten up a little bit. And connect. I should turn my body. <laughs> it's a little bit easier to draw these curves. So definitely turn your body over the paper. Okay, so then from there I'm going to bring this up. And hopefully you're using a pencil because I think it's a little bit easier. I'm going to be erasing today with my whiteout pen. So about right there just to make it a little bit easier to draw because you have to draw this bow. So I'm going to come up to center and then come right back down to complete my head. There. So now that I have the head in. Now this curve is a little bit low, but it doesn't really matter because I have to erase that anyway. Um, let's come back and let's see here. We're going to draw the ear. So I'm going to come to Saba right here. And I'm just going to draw a curve going up. About right there, round off the tip and bring it down. So basically, I just want to cover this side. And then I'm going to draw the inside. Just follow your outside. 
there. So on this side, we need to draw a bow first. So just using this as my guide, I need to cover this part a little bit. So I'm going to turn angle a little bit. And in this area, I'm going to start with a seashell. So let's say about right here where the ear would be. I'm come about right here. And I'm going to start with three curves to draw my seashell. So I'll bring it down. I'm going to overlap that line and round it off. And I'm going to come right here, and just draw angle line down. And I'll draw details in a little bit later. Let's come in here and we're going to draw the bow. So this is our center and then we're going to draw the loops. So come right here and bring it in. Kind of reminds me of Hello Kitty, right? The Hello Kitty bow. And same thing here. So we're just going to overlap the line of our head and create our bow there. So let me come in here really quick, get rid of this line. Of course, if you don't want to erase and you're using a Sharpie, you can just draw in this bow in this area first. Okay, so now that I have that in, I'm going to come about right here and draw the center of our bow. And then for our seashell, if you like, I guess you can just put a little curve right here at the bottom for some details, very subtle. And then just imagine the ear, just give yourself a point so the ear will be about right here and right here. Let's see here bring this across so we might actually kind of see it about right there and then the other ear will be about right here it will go up so I'm just gonna try my best to imagine as if the ear were here just give myself a bunch of points so about right there and it will come down so if I draw my bow a little bit bigger, then I wouldn't have to draw all these details. So it all depends on the size of your bow there, something like that. <laughs> Just as long as we have an indication of a, another ear. Okay, so then from there, the hardest part is done. Let's go ahead and draw the body. I'm going to come, let's see here, let's come over here. Let's draw the front paw right underneath this eye. And round it off and bring it in. And same thing here. So about right here underneath this eye. So on about the same level. There, just round it off. Then we're gonna come back to the top. Say about right here. Just gonna a little bit above my bow. I'm gonna start to draw the body. So we're drawing a mermaid today. So bring this down, nice and round, and bring it around in here. Cut it off about right there, and bring it in. And about right here, I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a curve because about right here, I need to draw a big curve coming down. This is kind of where the tail separates from the body. So I'm going to pop that out and then continue. So go ahead and we're just going to go ahead and continue and connect. There. Okay, so now that we have that, let's come over here. Usually we'll be putting a leg right, a foot right here, so it will look a little bit better, but it just kind of look, hopefully it doesn't look too weird. <laughs> and then from there, let's draw a little fin. So about right here, we're gonna come out at an angle and draw three curves. And in. And two little lines right here. And then of course we need to add a tail. So let's say about right here, we're gonna come out. 
round off the tip, bring it in. So we're just going to be parted in two. And we're going to come down for this side and I'm just going to bring it in just to give the tail some movement and maybe two lines as well. There. And if you like, you can, when you're coloring, you can just go ahead and just draw a bunch of these curves for some texture so we know that it's all scales. So they're all done. I really hope you loved how this mermaid cat from Half Miles Me Meows turned out and I helped you draw it fun and easy today. And if I did, please make sure to give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.